Hey, eighth graders, I'm back for video number three, teaching you more about what you need to know about the high school. Today's video is select your courses. Okay, before we select your courses, we need to learn about graduation requirements and what it takes to graduate in 2024. The class of 2024 needs 22 high school earned credits. You have to earn credits in the following categories, English, math, science, social studies, two required electives, and two foreign language credits. So let's break that down further. In English, you're going to have to take English 9, English 10, English 11, however, you can waive your English 11 with an AP literature course, and two English electives of your choice. In math, you will take Algebra 1, A and B, Geometry, Algebra 2, and two math electives. In Science, you'll take Biology, and the second category is a combination and a little bit of personal choice. Either it will be Chemistry, Physics, or Physical Science. And last, two Science electives of your choice. In Social Studies, you'll take World History, U.S. History, Government, and Economics. The two required elective options, you have to take health. For the PE course, I get a lot of questions on this, so let me break it down for you. All students have to graduate with one PE course. However, they have the option to waive that um, requirement if they play one sport season. So one season is JV or varsity, and it doesn't matter what grade you're in. You could be 9th through 12th, just one sport season, or four years of marching band. You don't have to waive PE just because you played a sport or you're in band, but you have that option available to you. Next, you need two art courses, and that's in visual, applied, or performing arts. So that could be choir, any art course, band, drama, or a tech center program. And then lastly, two foreign language credits. We have Spanish in the high school. Spanish 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, and 3A, 3B. You need four. If you don't want to take Spanish and you're interested in learning a different foreign language, you do have the option of looking at what's available through virtual courses. You could do a sign language, French, German, Chinese. There's various other ones available. I talked about that in video number two. By going to the tech center in 11th or 12th grade, it will waive your two of those credits. You have to have Spanish 1A and 1B. But going on to Spanish 2, those can be waived by the Tech Center. Let's break it down by grade level. Next year, in English, you are going into English 9A and 9B. In Math, Algebra 1A and 1B. Unless you are in Algebra right now as an 8th grader, you will be going into Geometry A and Geometry B. Social Studies, you'll be taking World History A and B, and Science, Biology A. A and B. Looking forward to 10th grade, English 10, Geometry, U.S. History, and Chemistry. 11th grade, English 11, Algebra 2, Government and Economics, and a Science Elective of your choice. 12th grade, you're looking at English Elective of your choice, Math Electives of your choice, Social Studies should be done, and science should be done. The remaining courses that you need can be taken in any grade, 9 through 12. For example, in PE, you'll need one PE course. Again, it could be waived if you make that choice. That won't be waived until your senior year. Everybody needs to take health. You can't have that waived. Everyone must take it. Most freshmen get it done early in their ninth grade year. Art, you need two art courses. That could be any art, band, choir, drama, or tech center. In foreign language, you have to have Spanish 1A and 1B, and then Spanish 2 will be your decision based on, do I want to continue with Spanish? Maybe you are 
headed to college, you know you are, you want to go to a four-year university, taking second year of Spanish is very smart. Or even work-ready skills, learning a foreign language and having that listed on your resume is a very smart thing to do. But if you don't want it, you struggle in Spanish perhaps, you could have the tech center waive that second year. So we looked at a credit audit in video number one, but let's revisit what this looks like. All of those graduation requirements that I just listed are combined here on one sheet for you. Each box is one of those requirements. As you complete each box, they turn orange. The idea is with this sheet, by the end of your senior year in May, every single box is orange. This is what it will look like at the end of your ninth grade year. I just put an orange slash on the courses that you're going to take in ninth grade. And then I pick two electives. So you know you're taking English, Algebra, Biology, World History, and Spanish 1A and 1B, and then two electives of your choice in ninth grade. So I just picked an art and a regular elective. So let's talk about what are the courses that you get to pick. I listed them all here and we talked about these in video number two, but I wanted to revisit. Not all of these are available for ninth grade, but you have a lot of choices to do various different topics in high school. Contemporary fiction, creative writing, and AP literature, history through media, World War II, intro to psychology, abnormal psychology, and AP world history. And in math, pre-calculus, statistics, personal finance, practical math, and science, forensics, hands-on discovery, AP chemistry, anatomy, and physics. Art to program. Now notice here I started putting ninth grade next to it because those first two slides in English, science, math, and social studies, those electives aren't quite available to you yet as a ninth grader. You need to do some courses before you're able to select those. So for ninth grade, you have an option to take any of these art department courses. And these are some of the choices you're going to make at the end of this video. Do you want drawing, painting? You can't take drawing two yet because you got to take drawing one. Ceramics, 3D design. There's advanced art, but you're not quite ready for that yet. You need to take the art courses um, listed above before you're ready for advanced. You can take drama, choir. Chamber choir will be audition only and selected by Mrs. Leonard. If you're interested in that, let me know. Um, marching band, concert band is the regular band. And then color guard is part of the band, audition only. If you're interested in that, you should really reach out to Mr. Andrews. In PE, everyone can take PE, health, team sports, or strength and conditioning. And in the world languages, you'll automatically be enrolled in Spanish 1, A and 1B. Okay, so we're almost to the end and I want you to visualize what are you choosing. So recap, on your schedule already, I'm adding your core classes, which is English 9, Algebra 1, unless you're in it right now, you'll have uh, Geometry, World History, and Biology. Out of the 12 classes that you will have, that counts for eight of them. So that leaves us with four more. I'm going to add Spanish 1A and 1B as your first two required electives. That takes us to 10 out of the 12. We have two left over. The last two are your choice. So how do you choose? This slide here lists everything that's available first semester for you. So look at all these colored boxes. You're going to choose one box on this slide, just one. So, guidance on how to choose. Well, if you're in band, there you go. There's your one choice right there. Or if you were interested in color guard as part of the band, there's your choice. You might have been selected for chamber choir. If not, you love choir, you can take choir. Or an art class with drawing, ceramics, 
or you really want PE, there's the weightlifting class there and team sports. If you want to get health out of the way, I mean, picture health. Health is a class. You're sitting in the classroom and you're learning about uh, your body and health and drugs and nutrition and sex ed. Most ninth graders want to just get that done and over with. You could definitely take it any grade level, but picture yourself in 12th grade and the current, let's see if we count backwards here, the fifth graders. Current fifth graders, you want to sit in class with them and learn about sex ed. Most freshmen say to me, nope, nope, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to take it and get it over with. Think about that, but that's your choice. And then regular PE. So look at these colored boxes. Which one are you gravitating towards? Pick one. Next slide here, you're going to pick one for semester two. And these are the courses that are available for you second semester. PE, health, team sports, painting, 3D design, choir, chamber choir if you were selected, and band. So looking at the screen, what? one are you going to pick? Okay, so back on Google Classroom, I included a survey for you to fill out. Now the first two videos, only a few of you filled out the survey. Fine, we can say those were optional. Those were just to express your concerns and questions. This is mandatory. This is how I'm going to fill out your schedule for next year. I need you to fill out this survey to tell me what two courses you're picking, okay? If you don't fill it out, I'm going to pick your schedule for you because I can't wait forever. we got to get this information in, but I would love for you to pick it for yourself. The next video is going to be Meet Your Teachers. Stay tuned for that. I've been collecting videos so you can hear from them, see what they look like. Stay tuned for that. All right, just to recap again, I need you to fill out that survey. And there's one more thing I want to throw at you. When you're doing the survey, I left one last question for you at the bottom of the survey. Think about your Spanish. In video number two, we talked about testing out, right? What is testing out? That's an opportunity for you. Here's your first choice in that. Do you speak Spanish? Are you fluent? Do you read, write, and think that if you took the final exam for Spanish 1A, could you get a 77% or higher? Do you not want to take Spanish? Do you feel like that would be torture to sit in a Spanish class because you already speak it? If that's you, you can sign up by indicating that on the survey that you want to test out. Because of our quarantine right now and our timeline and our normal schedule is just completely blown up, I can't tell you when that test out will be, but I'm going to try to organize it before school starts next year. If you want to test out of Spanish and you're sure you can get that 77%, I encourage you to pick four electives, two first semester, two second semester, instead of just one each. Don't sign up for the test out unless you think you can do it, okay? All right, but that's a choice. Now, adios. I will see you for video number four. Please fill out those surveys.